Dodge, Northeast, and Blakely County are all still running. Jump directly into your future with Wiregrass Georgia Technical College. Wiregrass Georgia Tech offers hundreds of programs in areas like healthcare, business, and professional and technical services. Our graduates succeed soon. You think they're really going to give $5,000 to the winner? Can high school students really start their own business? The Community Banking Company of Fitzgerald is honored and excited to partner with the Fitzgerald High School College and Career Academy Audio Video Pathway to bring live...
It's now time to introduce to you the 2021 Canes starting lineup. First on offense, number four. Yes, we do the hurricane mall. Yes, we do the hurricane mall. Yes, we do the hurricane mall. We do the hurricane mall. We're going to have a ball. Get in the
Georgia Electric Membership Corporation, Gatorade, Wilson, BSN Sport. The Georgia High School Association is a voluntary nonprofit organization composed of over 460 public and private high schools. The GHSA administrators regulations for region and state competition in 19 sports and two activities. Founded in 1908, the GHSA strives to promote good sportsmanship, participant safety, and fair play among its member schools. For more information, visit ghsa.net. Follow at Officials GHSA on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. The Georgia High School Association would like to thank its corporate partners for their valuable support of high school athletics and activities. Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance, Georgia Electric Membership Corporation, Gatorade, Wilson, BSN Sports, Atlanta Hawks, Mizuno, Atlanta Braves, Subway, Sports Medicine South, Atlanta Track Club, NFHS Network, Regents Bank, Max Preps, GoFan, and Georgia Public Broadcasting.
John Harrelson, Principal David Sims, Athletic Director Jason McDonald, Head Football Coach Tucker Pruitt welcome you to tonight's game at J.C. Stadium. Tonight's game is the first round of the GHSA AA playoffs with our Canes taking on the Dodge County Indians. All right, fans, we're going to need a lot of noise out of you guys tonight. Letting you know who our personality folks are tonight, uh, Fitzgerald High School and Career Academy CEO is Hal Wiley, Band Director Jonathan Thurston, assisted by Michelle Dennison, Color Guard line, Dance Line Director Trina Johnson, JROTC Instructors Chief Troy Hope, Sergeant First Class Stephen Cordell, our football cheerleading coach is Marissa Reynolds, sound engineer David Evans, our video engineer is Michael Wise, our school board operator is Hunter Kinnett, our press box football advisor is Coach Roy Bryan. From the Georgia High School Association, the GHSA and its member schools have made a commitment to promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators at all GHSA sanctioned events. Profanity, degrading remarks, and intimidating actions directed at officials or competitors will not be tolerated and are grounds for removal from the event site. Spectators will not be allowed to enter the competition area during warm-ups or while the contest is being played. Due to COVID-19, no one but the players and coaches will be allowed on the field at the conclusion of the game. Thank you for your cooperation in the promotion of good sportsmanship at tonight's game, and please enjoy the game. At this time, would you please stand for the posting of the colors and a moment of silence. Gracious God, thank you for perfect football weather that crispness that's in the air. Tonight, we will enjoy the gift that you have given to us of football. Please, may good sportsmanship apply to both teams. Keep players from both sides from serious injury. Amen. Would you please join me as we pledge allegiance to the American flag, followed by the playing of our national anthem and the Fitzgerald alma mater. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
Community Banking Company of Fitzgerald is honored and excited to partner with the Fitzgerald High School College and Career Academy Audio Video Pathway to bring live streaming events to Fitzgerald High School. We are dedicated and committed to the future of our community and the children and school system in Ben Hill County are integral to that success. Enjoy the live streaming Purple Hurricane action. Go Canes! In 1A Public School in Irwin County, defending state champions, it's a great ball game tonight, but Fitzgerald had the better team tonight, Stan. Jump directly into your future with Wiregrass Georgia Technical College. Wiregrass Georgia Tech offers hundreds of programs in areas like healthcare, business, and professional and technical services. Our graduates succeed sooner. Apply today at wiregrass.edu. It's now time to introduce to you the 2021 Canes starting lineup. First on offense, number four at quarterback, Junior Sultan Cooper. 
Number 23, fullback, junior, Silent Davis. Number 7, halfback, senior, Denaris Goodwin. Number 13, wingback, senior, Jacorian Polk. Number 13, wingback, senior, Jacorian Polk. Number 81, wide receiver, sophomore, Calvin Tillman. Number 16, tight end, junior, Khalil Williams. Number 56 at center, sophomore, LaVon Simmons. Number 50, guard, junior, Xavier Walker. At guard, number 59, sophomore, Christian Riggins. Number 74, tackle, senior, Kellen Wynn. Number 61, tackle, sophomore, Gabe Pierce. And now for our starting defense for our Canes. Number 88, nose guard, senior, Don Hill. Number six, defensive end, junior, Daniel James. Number 48, defensive end, senior, Lathan Curry. Number eight, inside linebacker, senior, E.J. Lightsey. Number 43, inside linebacker, junior, Drew Moore. Number 42, outside linebacker, sophomore, Brandon Brown. Number 15, outside linebacker, junior, Robert Brown. Number 12, outside linebacker, senior, Jaden Stanley. Number 20, cornerback, junior, DJ Brown. Number 11, cornerback, junior, Jamar Joseph. Number 34, wide receiver, Junior Julian Deans. That has meant so much as far as Fitzgerald being 8-2 and two on the year. It certainly has. Defense has really carried us all year long, and, Bill, I expect them to do it again tonight. Uh, really look for a big game uh, for the uh, defense and the uh, Hurricanes tonight. Five minutes left before kickoff. Bill Bryant and Hank Brady will be bringing you all the action on Radio 96.9. You stay tuned for the kickoff after this.
Well, Hank, after being off a week, the Fitzgerald Purple Hurricanes have kind of uh, licked their wounds. We've got some folks that we hope have healed up. This team has been bumped and bruised all year long, starting early in that season. We've had some uh, punters been injured, our kickers been injured, our quarterbacks been injured. Maybe our best player on defense has been injured, E.J. Lightsley, and still some, uh, some shoulder injuries. But, you know, Hank, I reckon uh, here the first round of the playoff, you don't talk about injuries. Uh, you right. suit up. Um, <laughs> You say, Coach, I can go. I can play, Coach. Let's go. And uh, that's where we are, I think. Hank, who represents the Fitzgerald Purple Hurricanes out at midfield uh, for tonight's coin toss? Uh, t tonight for the Hurricanes, we had uh, it was Denaris Goodwin. Uh, we had uh, Taylor Spivey, Jaden Stanley, uh, and also E.J. Lightsey were the – were the captains for the for the Hurricanes tonight. For the Dodge County Inn, it's Jackson Bowen, Landon Powers, Toby Tobler, and Jalen ja Jalen James. That's their captains for tonight's uh, contest. And, Hank, uh, who won the coin toss and who's going to be receiving this opening kickoff? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I missed it. I, I did not see uh, the coin toss, so we'll, uh, we'll just see here in just a second. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Well, I, I'm the same way. I was uh, – Figuring out these uh, captains and all, but uh, we'll catch that in just a minute for you. The Fitzgerald Purple Hurricanes, they've busted through their cheerleading sign. The Dodge County Indians, they have as well. So we're just a few minutes from tonight's kickoff. Fitzgerald, Dodge County, we're glad you joined us on Radio 96.9. This is going to be a good one. Um, sit back in your easy chair, go on to the, to the refrigerator and get you one of them ice-cold Pepsis, one of those ice-cold Coca-Colas, and enjoy tonight's ball game. 14 seconds to kick off. We'll take one more time out, and we'll be back for the kickoff after this. I right, got it. All right, 10 seconds. All right, be just. Team heads out on the field. We'll be teeing it up at the 40-yard line. Fitzgerald and I will be dressed in those black uniforms, white helmets, gold uh, numerals, or I say purple numerals, gold trim, white pants. And we'll be kicking it right to left. The Dodge County Indians in here with those road uniforms, white top, red helmets. They've got their back to the National Guard armor as we will be kicking it right to left. Thank you for joining us on Radio 96.9. Round one of the state playoff with play-by-play, -play, the voice of the Hurricanes, Hank Brady. Thank you, Bill. Eric Trejo has his thing teed up at the 40-yard line, and we're just seconds away from live football action. First round of the Class AA state playoffs, and it's a low squib-style kick. Fielded at about the 18-yard line, and a big hit, Jaden Stanley. What a lick by Stanley. It had Keegan Williams on the return for Dodge County, but Stanley just lit him up at about the 30-yard line. Williams falls forward to the 31, and the Indians will have it first and 10 from there. Good start for the Hurricanes, uh, as uh, made a good hit there, and Fitzgerald uh, uh, Dodge County will take over, as Hank said. Uh, at their 31-yard line. We're just getting started here. Good crowd for both sides here at the stadium tonight, and we hope you'll enjoy this broadcast tonight of Fitzgerald and Dodge County. Johnson shotgun formation. Two receivers right and left. He's going to take the snap. He's going to give to the running back, and he's going to break a couple of tackles, and he's going to go for a first down. That was Lamari Mitchell on the carry for the Indians, and he'll pick up a first down. Nothing fancy, just a tough running right at the left guard. Duke Johnson, the freshman quarterback for the Indians, brings them, brings them set. Two receivers left, two to the right, and Mitchell in the backfield. Johnson's going to throw a quick little hitch route out to the right side. It's complete, but he has hit quickly. Robert Brown and Drew Moore in on the stop. The pass will be complete before short gain. We'll give him a pickup of a couple. 
That's going to bring up second down and eight now. Ball resting at the Indian 44-yard line. These Indians move quick. Uh, two receivers left and right once again. Johnson and Mitchell are your backs in the backfield. Shotgun formation. Here's a snap yell. Lathan Curry, several hurricanes there. Another short gain. We'll give him about three on the carry, and that's going to bring up third down and five now for Dodge County. Johnson looks to the sideline to get the call. This time we're going to have trips to the left side for the Indians. One receiver uh, split wide right. That's, that's Williams. And, again, it's Johnson and Mitchell are your backs in the backfield. Now they're going to motion a receiver to the right side. Johnson's going to fake the jet sweep, keep it himself, and he's hit. Makes a couple of guys busy. He loses the football. The ball is on the ground. That's who comes up with it. <coughs> I believe this girl will, and they do. A huge turnover. Williams trying to get out of there and get that first down. Nothing going in the middle of the field. Bounced it to his left and was hit hard. The ball came bouncing right out of there, and Fitzgerald recovers it. First and 10 at the Indian 49-yard line. Hank, I thought Duke Johnson was going to get that first down. Uh, he had pretty clear sailing out there, and all of a sudden, someone from that hurricane defense came up and ripped that ball away. It fell on the ground, and someone uh, with that home jersey on recovered that fumble. The first turnover of the ball game, the first break of the ball game, goes to Fitzgerald. We recover a Dodge County fumble at the Dodge County 49. Two receivers split wide left. Going to be a direct snap to Denars Goodwin. Goodwin takes it straight up the middle of the field. It's going to go for about three. We need that offensive line to get a nice push. Uh, really played well two weeks ago uh, down in Adel against the Cook County Hornets and uh, looking for another big night for our offensive line tonight. Sultan Cooper now checks into the football game for the Hurricane. We're going to send one receiver. That's Tillman out to the right side. We've got two receivers split left. We've got Sultan Cooper and Salon Davis in the back. Now we're going to, that's, excuse me, that's Denars Goodwin. We motion Goodwin out to the left side. We hit him with a little swing pass, and pass is complete. Goodwin's got some running room. He's forced out of bounds. It's going to be close to a first down, but I think this will be a hurricane first down. It will. Ball moved down to the 38-yard line of Dodge County. First down, Fitzgerald. Hank, we needed seven, and we got eight on the pickup. Denard Goodman on a little pass reception. Uh, was able to run by one of those Dodge County Indians, and Fitzgerald with their first first down of this first quarter, and we've advanced it down to the Dodge County 38-yard line. Cooper again, shotgun formation. A little pistol formation. He's got Denard Goodman lined up directly behind him. Going to take the snap, give the Goodwin up. Left side, left tackle, a little bit of running room. Out comes some flags. Let's check these calls. This may go against Fitzgerald. It's going to be a gain of about five, maybe six on the play, but let's check the call. I believe this may be a hold against the Hurricane. Hey, we got two flags on the field. I'm thinking they're for the same reason, and it yes, looks they like are. they are. That's going to be a hold, and that'll back Fitzgerald up 10. We're going to have it first down in about, let's see, uh, about 18 or 19. Pretty obvious, uh, Hank, when two officials throw the flag, and they both <laughs> yes. came out at the same time, so yes. they were both focused uh, right in that same area along that offensive line, and uh, no argument from over here on the sideline for the Hurricanes. Exactly right. No uh, score in the ball game, 9-14 left in this first quarter. First down, uh, let's call it 20. The hole was right on the line of scrimmage. Got Goodwin, shotgun formation, got trips to the to his right. Goodwin's going to take it, find some running room, hits the corner on the right side, and he's going to get back close to the original line of scrimmage. Maybe not quite, but uh, it's going to bring up a second down. I'm going to call it 12, maybe 13, but a nice eight-yard run for Denars Goodwin. Bill, I've got a, some shout-outs coming early. Scott McCraney said he missed a couple of weeks, but he's back. Go Kane, Scott Hope you're doing well, buddy. Want to say hello also to Tim and Sandy Woods uh, listening tonight as they are every Friday night. And I got Jerry Tanner and Avery listening to us tonight. Jerry, hope you're enjoying the ball game. We got Cooper now. Shotgun formation is going to take the snap. And he's going to give, I believe that's Davis, the big fullback. 
at the left tackle. He's going to get back maybe to the original line of scrimmage just across. It's going to bring up a third down and nine situation. Gain of about three for Davis on the play. Eight minutes now remaining in this first quarter. Fitzgerald after the turnover. Their first drive of the night. Cooper again. We're going to send two receivers right, two to the left. Shotgun formation now for Sultan Cooper. I'll take it. He drops straight back. Going to throw a little tunnel screen to big JP, and JP's got some running room. Runs through a couple of tackles. He's going to pick up a Fitzgerald first down. Nice little tunnel screen to Jacory and Paul. Good blocking out in front, and he's going to take it down to the 20-yard line and a hurricane first down. 18 yards on that pass reception in Jacory and Paul, big number 13, rumbling in through that Dodge County defense and an eight, a 13-yard reception results in a first down for Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald first and 10 at the Dodge County 20. Single wing formation now the right side. Denars Goodwin to take the direct snap. He's got Cylon Davis to his right. Goodwin's going to take it. Follows Davis. Nothing there. Tries to bounce to the outside. Finds a little bit of a crease. And really made a nice run. He's going to pick up about three yards and absolutely nothing there. Uh, tried it at right guard and just nowhere to go, but uh, able to bounce it wide. Let's give him three on the carry. Second down seven now for Fitzgerald. Dodge County took over the, uh, in this uh, first quarter as we kicked the ball to them. They had uh, had a drive, had one first down in the drive, and then all of a sudden the ball pops out of Duke Johnson's hand right at midfield. Fitzgerald recovered that uh, fumble, and we have advanced it down to the Dodge County uh, 17-yard line. Cooper now checks back in. Looks like we've got a little confusion on the offense, and Fitzgerald will call a timeout. Uh, having a little trouble getting lined up, Bill. We've got a timeout on the field. Let's go back to Paul in the station. And, again, this timeout is brought to you by the Family Home Center in Douglas, and we'll be right back. Paul, we'll take it back whenever you're ready. I've got it just about perfect. Three, two, one, take. Hank, 625 left here in the first quarter. Fitzgerald nothing, Dodge County nothing. Back with play-by-play, -play. here's Hank. Thanks, Bill. So we've got, I believe that's, is that Cooper under center? He's going to take, that's Denars Goodwin. He's going to fake the handoff, keeping himself at the left tackle. Decent little run there by Denars. Uh, he's going to take it down. Gain of about five on the play. It's going to bring up a second down and a couple. Ball resting at the 12-yard line of Dodge County. Third down and two now. Under six minutes remaining in this first quarter. Fitzgerald trying. To punch this thing in, a little unusual setup now for Fitzgerald. There's a direct snap to EJ Lights. He likes it trying to push forward for the first down. He'll cross the 10 yard line, get down around the nine, and this should be enough for a Fitzgerald first down, and it will. This will be a first down goal to go now for the Hurricane. Ball resting at the Dodge County nine yard line. Bill, a little razzle dazzle there. They uh, all sort of lined up. Uh, Sort of four across and, and uh, clapped their hands and ran to the line of scrimmage and a quick snap to E.J. Lightsey for the Hurricane first down. A play I don't think I've seen this year, but we needed two, picked up three, and a first down for the Hurricane. And on first down again, we're going to direct snap this thing. I believe that is good one on the carry. Was that number three, though? I, blow, I, I think you're right, Bill. These, these black... Black jerseys with the purple numbers are hard to see. That was Wilcox, Donald Wilcox on the carry for Fitzgerald. Gain of about three on the carry. The ball now at the six-yard line of Dodge County. Second and goal. Wilcox checks in, and, and Denars Goodwin, uh, excuse me, Wilcox checks out, and Goodwin checks back in. 
Shotgun formation, single wing to the right side. He's got Cylon Davis to his right. Good one's going to take it. He's going to give that ball to Cylon Davis at left tackle, and Davis trying to push his way and just drive into the end zone, but he's going to come up a little bit short, down close to around the, the three, maybe the two-yard line. It's going to bring up third down and goal now for Fitzgerald. Ball at about the two-and-a-half-yard line. Want to say hello to Jimmy and Alicia Davis. They're listening tonight to 96.9 Radio. And also Tom and Kathy Brazil listening up in Aiken, South Carolina. Good to hear from you all, Tom and Kathy, and uh, hope you will enjoy this broadcast tonight. We've got some streaming shout-outs. The Lyon family, Michael Lyons, Markevius Lundy, and Rico listening to us tonight watching the ball game. And on third down. We're going to have a little pass, a little razzle-dazzle on the pass as the Doris Gilman on a halfback pass. That was Drew Moore with the catch. Handoff to Goodwin. Sweeps left, pulls up with a little halfback throw to the tight end. Drew Moore in the left corner of the end zone, and it's touchdown Fitzgerald. Hank, a three-yard pass play, a little razzle-dazzle, and, uh, man, you like to see that. The kids have fun with that play. I like it as well. It's a touchdown pass. Fitzgerald up six to nothing. Trejo in to try the point after. Spivey with the hold. The kick is up, and the kick is good. And with 3.55 remaining in the first quarter, your score from J.C. Stadium, Fitzgerald at seven, Dodge County zero. We'll take a timeout sponsored by the Family Home Center in Douglas. Please stay tuned. All right, that's Denaris Goodwin to, to uh, Drew Moore. Yes. Three-yard pass, Bill. A drive. I've got it at 11 plays and 49 yards. Overcame a, a big holding call, too. Yeah. Nice job by that offense. We'll take it back, Paul, whenever you're ready. Welcome back. Uh, a little squib kick, and that uh, Damarian Simmons picks that thing up and gets a nice return. Nice job by Robert Brown, Daniel James to, to get him down, but it's excellent field position. Dodge County starting at their own 47-yard line. On first down, Johnson looks to throw. He's got some pressure on him. Out comes a flag, but we're going to sack him, and that was, I believe that was Don Hill with the sack for Fitzgerald, but let's check the call. And this will be a hold against the Indians. Don Hill with the sack, but I think Fitzgerald will probably take this penalty, and they will. They're going to back up the Indians 10 yards. Nice job by that Fitzgerald defense. But this will bring up a first down and about 20 for the Indians. Johnson. Tries a little hitch route to the left side, and this ball is a high thrown and incomplete. Fitzgerald had it well covered. I believe that was Jaden Jaden Stanley out there with the coverage for Fitzgerald. High throw, second down now, and we're going to call it 20, 21 maybe. Yeah, 21, 22. Two receivers right and left. Not going to bring a receiver in motion. Well, we've got receivers heading downfield, but the ball is not snapped. Johnson calling for that football. 
A little confusion between he and the center. All three of the receivers, Bill, were streaking down the field, but the ball never moved. <coughs> That'll back the Indians up five more. Now try her again. Dodge County had a tough time with penalties. Hank, three penalties in these first two drives of theirs, and now look where that second down marker is. That's going to be second to about 26 or seven. Yes, it is. They got three receivers to the right side for Dodge County. Johnson takes it, drops straight back, throws it deep. Now on the left side, he's got a receiver out there. The ball is overthrown. I'm trying to see who that was in coverage, Bill. <coughs> May have been Joseph, I believe. I believe that's Robert Brown, excuse me, in coverage uh, for Fitzgerald. And that's going to bring up third down now and about 26, 27. 3.29 remaining in the first quarter. Fitzgerald with the seven-point lead. Three receivers right, one to the left for the Indians. Johnson and Gordon now, you're back in the backfield. Johnson drops straight back, trying to complete a little pass. It's deflected and intercepted by the defensive line, and he trips over his own. His own man tripped him up. <coughs> Bill, I believe that was Drew Moore with the deflection. I'm trying to see who came away with the interception. Well, Hank, I sure don't know myself. I'm trying to. Bill, I can't. these numbers are, are hard to, yep. to make out. Can't read the numbers with these black jerseys. I'm, I'm looking right there, Bill. That's, I'm trying to see if he'll turn around. But uh, it was Drew Moore with the defense. With the deflection, Fitzgerald picks it off. They're going to have it first and 10 at the 11-yard, on the 10-yard line. First and goal now for Fitzgerald. Direct snap to Denars Goodwin. He takes it down inside the five. Dodge County with two big turnovers on their first two possessions. And Fitzgerald now second down goal, ball resting at about the four-yard line. Hey, we'll ask uh, next door here with the PA guy in just a minute and get who had that interception. But uh, it was a thing of beauty. Fitzgerald yes, intercepted the ball. And uh, I believe you said it right. He tripped over his own man. Might have scored had he not tripped. But Fitzgerald here on their second uh, play here to try to get this thing in the end zone. And again, direct snap. Let's see. Was that, was that Wilcox? Wilcox on the carry. That was Wilcox. And he is hit before he can get back to the line of scrimmage and uh, we're going to lose about a half yard and this is going to bring up third down now goal to go the ball uh, on about the four and a half yard line see Sultan Cooper checking into the game clock running 210 remaining in the first quarter two receivers left one to the right Cooper under center got Cylon Davis in the backfield Tried a little, a little reverse pass. Hand off to JP who flipped it to Denaris Goodwin then tried to throw back to Sultan Cooper, but it was well defended, almost picked off. Braylon Mincy not fooled at all on the play. Fitzgerald very fortunate that ball was not intercepted. I think the ball just not thrown far enough. Uh, no. Certainly was not. Cooper uh, was open and uh, a little underthrown. But, uh, Hank, we're going to go for this thing on fourth yes, and goal are. at the two, yes, at the three-yard line. Receivers right and left now. Cooper's going to go on the center. He's going to throw to Lightsey, and this ball is going to go incomplete. A little fade route, just trying to get the ball out there to E.J. Lightsey. And that ball will fall incomplete, and Fitzgerald will turn it over on downs. What a job by that Indian defense. Fitzgerald had it first down goal to go at the Dodge County 10-yard line, and we're going to come away with no points on that possession. I think we get an interception. We advance it down to the 10. A couple of plays later, we get it inside the 5 and just cannot put it in the end zone. We're elected not to go for the, the three-point conversion, uh, and Dodge County held us, and we'll turn the ball back over to them deep in their ter ter territory at the Dodge County four-yard line. Hank, let's back up just a couple of, couple of plays ago. I want to recap that scoring summary. Uh, Denaris Goodwin to Drew Moore, a three-yard touchdown pass to point 
after by Eric Trejo was good. 11 play, 49 yard drive. And this in game scoring summary is brought to you by Melissa Burgess, owner, agent of Coldwell Bankers Active Real Estate. And they're located at 125 South Main Street in Fitzgerald. And their phone number 423 Soul. That's 423 7653. Fitzgerald fortunate. Uh, only had 10 on the line of scrimmage. We ran a safety out uh, right there at the end of that play. I think that was Mitchell on the carry. Nothing doing. Uh, a gain of maybe a half yard for the Indians. going to bring up second down and we'll just call it 10. <coughs> Bill, uh, my buddy Barry Peavy trying to help us out here in the booth. He said uh, 13. Out, but Ja'Cory and Paul deflected that pass. And uh, I'll get that in just a minute. Here's Gordon on the sweep now on second down. Play is well defended for Fitzgerald once again. Several Hurricanes out to make the stop. Led by Robert Brown. But uh, third down now and about seven for the Indians. Three receivers come to the right side. Johnson and Gordon are your backs in the backfield. Johnson takes a drop straight back, trying to find somewhere to go with the football. We've got a lot of heat on him, and he gets his ball away as he's wrapped up, and this is going to be a first down for the Indians. What a nice job by Duke Johnson. Really thought we had him wrapped up for the sack. Finds a receiver out just hanging around the sideline over there. Completes the pass, and he scoops up the sideline for an Indian first down. Was that 15 on the reception? I believe it. No. His first down, Dodge County. Now the ball resting at the 16-yard line. Trips to the right side. This is... Bill, that's Mitchell once again on the carry and a nice run right up the middle of the field. Uh, uh, Fortunately, we grabbed his jersey and held on, or he may have taken this thing the distance. Let's see, we've got a we've got a timeout on the field. First and ten, Dodge County. The ball at their own 35-yard line. Had an official timeout, but I think we're ready to go now. 14 seconds remaining in the first quarter. John's going to take once again. They found something they like right up the middle of the field. His time is Gordon. He's going to go for about seven yards and a, another nice carry for Dodge County. And that should be the last play of the first quarter, and it will be. Dodge County will have its second down and, and about four when we come back. At your score after one from J.C. Stadium, Fitzgerald 7, Dodge County 0. And again, this timeout is brought to you by the Family Home Center in Douglas, and we'll be right back. And on second down again, the give is going to be to Gordon. Nothing doing up the middle, of, but he bounces it wide and hits that corner. He's going to find some running room across the 50, and this will be another first down Dodge County in Hurricane territory at the Hurricane 49-yard line. Nice play by Gordon. Uh, wanted to take that thing inside, and nothing doing. Uh, pretty well defended, and he bounced it a wide right, and uh, he'll go for the Indian first down. 
Three receivers to the left side. Johnson and Gordon in the backfield. Now they're going to motion receiver to the right. And a little hitch route out here to the left. Pass is complete. Brown on the stop for, Fitz, for Fitzgerald. Jalen James is the receiver for Dodge County. And it's going to be a gain of seven. Second down three for the Indians. Two receivers right and left for the Indians. Kind of looks like it's Mitchell in the backfield with James. With Johnson, he's going to give to Mitchell. He runs through one tackle at the really behind the line of scrimmage, and he's able to uh, move this ball forward. He's going to pick up a yard. He's going to bring up second down now. Excuse me, third down and one for the Indians. Had a chance to drop him for about a two-yard loss, but uh, Mitchell runs right through the arm tackle. And this brings up third down in the yard. Need a big play by this John Gamble defense. See if we can stop this drive. Trips to the left side. One receiver wide to the right. Johnson's going to take it. And he's going to give. And this should be, I think this will be enough with the forward progress for the first down for Dodge County. And I think that was Mitchell one more time on the carry. Check that. I believe it's Gordon. They alternate these guys in and out, and that was Gordon on the carry and the first down for Dodge County. Seven to nothing Fitzgerald. Ten minutes left in this second quarter. John's going to take the snap. He's going to give a jet sweep. He runs through just a couple of tackles. Uh, play looked like it was going to be pretty well defended. Keegan Williams on the carry, runs through a couple of tackles. He's going to end up picking up nine on the play. Uh, had three or four Hurricanes right there. Uh, just did not make the tackle. Trips now to the right side. One receiver left. Johnson and Mitchell are your backs in the backfield. Now they're going to bring... Receiver in motion right, and they're going to give to Mitchell at left guard. He'll push forward for another Dodge County first down. Dodge County on the move. Took this ball at their own four-yard line, and now they have it first and ten at the Hurricane 26. Nine minutes remaining in the first half. It's still trying to hang on to this seven-point lead. Three receivers right. One to the left, and again, they're going to motion the receiver to the right side. Johnson takes the jet sweep, keeps it himself. Daniel James is right there. Nothing doing. Maybe a gain of a yard. Nice job by that Fitzgerald defensive front. Going to bring up second down nine. Ball at the Hurricane 25-yard line. Again, looks like trips to the right side. One receiver, James, to the left. Johnson's going to send James in motion. He's going to take it, going to throw a little swing route to James. We've got some defenders there. He runs through a couple of tackles. Bill, we've had a couple of plays here. We've got some guys in position. We're just not quite making the tackle. Looked like we could have had him for a gain of maybe just one, but he's going to go for six or seven yards. He's going to bring up third down, and let's call it three. Hank Dodge kind of just appeared in that first quarter to be out of sync a little bit, but I can tell you right now they're, they're a, uh, a machine that's marching down yes. the field. When Fitzgerald, they took over their three, maybe our four-yard line, and here they are. They've advanced it inside our 20. Just good play here by the Dodge County Indians. Duke Johnson takes the snap, and he's going to give to Mitchell. Mitchell driving, trying to get that first down. Let's check the mark. Fitzgerald pushes him back, but let's see where they mark the forward progress. I think he's going to come up a little bit short. That was Mitchell on the carry. Needed three, and they're going to give him a gain of about two. And this is going to bring up 
Looks like Willis, we've got a timeout called on the field. Timeout on the field. Let's go back to Paul in the station. This timeout brought to you by the Family Home Center in Douglas. Please stay tuned. All right, got it. Check this one. I still can't see those. Measurement, uh, Dodge County came up about a half yard short, so it's fourth down now, half yard, the ball at the Fitzgerald 17-yard line. Dodge County, of course, will go for this. You've got Johnson, shotgun formation, going to take the snap, going to give to Gordon, going straight forward, and he's hit in the backfield and driven back. I, I, I don't think he got back to the line of scrimmage, Bill. I believe this ball will be turned over. Let's, let's check the mark. He was hit in the backfield. He continued to sort of drive and push. Let's let's check this mark. He did not need much, Bill. Of course, the Dodge County says they, they, they think they have it. Fitzgerald says they don't. But I don't think they do. Hey. Let's measure this. I'm going to tell you what, Bill. They got a very nice spot. I'm going. I did not think he got back to the line of scrimmage, but uh, uh, this spot right here, it's going to be it's going to be close. If it uh, obviously that was fourth down, we'll see what the the chains. See if they can stretch those chains. Stretch them. I mean, stretch them. Bungee cord. Bungee cord links <laughs> in those chains. We hope. I mean, let's stretch it now. Let's see. And they looks like he's going to get a first down just by the nose of the football. Boy, Bill, I'm I'm going to tell you that was a that was a nice spot. Nice spot for Dodge County. Yes, it was. But, it was uh, a nice spot for Dodge. And it's first down now. The ball looks like it's just outside the 16-yard line. Trips now to the left side. One receiver right. Going to bring receiver in motion. Looks like we're going to have a flag. And there's going to be a procedure call against the Indians. That'll back them up five. Seven oh one remaining in this first half. Fitzgerald seven, Dodge County zero. Dodge County has it first and fifteen now. The Hurricane twenty one yard line. Johnson's gonna fake the quick pitch, trying to find some running room back right. Fake the quick pitch left, kept it himself, and Fitzgerald had several defenders there. Looks like that was E.J. Lightsey, Anthony Hill on the stop for, for Fitzgerald. Remember, this, this drive started for Dodge County at their own four-yard line. Now we've got it second down, 15. Three receivers left, one to the right. Receiver's on a motion to the right side. Johnson takes a drop straight back. Got some pressure on him. He's got some room to run. We've got a flag. It looks like it may be a hole, but let's check this call. Nice job by Johnson. He's going to scamper down and out of bounds uh, just outside the 10. But let's check this call. Hanky picked up uh, 14. No, make it 16 on the play. But, boy, the penalties have really hurt the Indians here in this first half. That's another one against him. That's another hole. Yes, it is. And that will uh, held. He was held behind the line of scrimmage, so that's going to be a 10-yarder. A uh, so that's going to bring up a second down and about. Well, they're still marking it off. Well, when old Johnson started scampering down that far sideline, Bill, I was certainly happy to see that flag come out. That was a nice run by Johnson. Three receivers left, one to the right. Again, for Dodge County, that's sort of a – Standard formation for these guys. Now they're going to motion James to the left side. Going to fake the swing route. Johnson trying to find somewhere to go with the football. 
just several hurricanes there. Another flag comes down. So come, here comes the ball comes out. I think the whistle had blown. Whistle had blown. The ball is dead. Johnson's down. I, I thought I saw a flag come out also, Bill. I think I did see a flag, yes. Hank. Not, not much gain uh, that for, was. for Duke Johnson. This is going to be another hole. There were several hurricanes with pressure all over Johnson, and it looks like uh, one of those Indians offensive linemen have grabbed us again, and that's going to back them up ten more. <coughs> Bill, this is going to bring up. Second in a long way. Oh. Are we going to de we going to decline this penalty? It looks like we are. Take the down. I, th I think we did. I think they. So it'll be third down. Let's yes, they, they, I was going to say there was no gain on the play, so this is going to bring up a third down. It's got to be close to 30. Johnson takes it. He drops. They're trying to find somewhere to go to football. Again, we've got pressure on him. He's out on the right side. He's going to be forced out of bounds. He'll pick up seven, eight yards. I'm trying to see again. I think that may have been E.J. Lightsey. Now it'll be Johnson fourth down. out of bounds. It's going to bring up fourth down, and it'll be close to 20. Fitzgerald 7, Dodge County nothing, 545 left in this first half. Bill, I'm running out of rooms on my sheet. I have that as the 18th dry, uh, play of this drive. Isn't that something? For the Indians. Dodge will go for this. Fourth down, we're going to call it 21. Two, three receivers right, one to the left, a little swing route to the left side to Mitchell, trying to find some running room. We've got several Hurricanes chasing him. Let's go. Easy, guys. Easy. Let's just get him out of bounds. No, no flag. And this should uh, turn the ball over. No flag comes out. Uh, nice job by that defense. That time looks like Julian Deans led the charge for Fitzgerald. And Johnson goes out of bounds, and that'll turn the football back over to Fitzgerald. Turn it over on downs after a 19-play drive that started at their four-yard line, and Fitzgerald will have it first and 10 at their own 22. Hank, you don't see that off a 19-yard drive. Of course, the several penalties on that drive yes. help keep it alive, uh, uh, help Fitzgerald on that drive uh, with some penalties. But uh, let's see what we can do with 536 left in the quarter. Fitzgerald up 7 to nothing. We've got the ball back. At our 21-yard line. Sultan Cooper is going to take it. We're going to give this is the little wing back trap, the counter play, and that's Jacorian Park with a nice, nice run for Fitzgerald. He's going to carry the ball. Let's see where they mark him out of bounds. Looks like he's going to mark him out of bounds at the Fitzgerald 48-yard line. 26-yard pickup for J.P. Bill, that little wing back counter has been a good play for us all year long, and Park makes another nice run. Five twenty-eight remaining in the first half. Tight wing formation now. Cooper under center. He's going to give to the wing back. Nothing doing right there. That was Denars Goodwin on the carry for Fitzgerald. We'll give him a couple, but uh, hit hard. Uh, ball at midfield now. Clock running. It'll be under five minutes to go in the half when, when Sultan Cooper takes this snap. Two receivers. Looks like Denars Goodwin, Calvin Tillman split <coughs> to the right side. Now we're going to motion going in to the left. We're going to give again to J.P. on the wing back trap, the little counter play, and uh, Dodge County defends it much better this time, a gain of about three, and that's going to bring up third down and, and five now for Fitzgerald. Ball in Dodge County territory at the Indian 47-yard line. How can you hear me down the sideline? We'll, we'll come to you in just a second. Yeah. Hal, let's get them going now. We need this first down. Cooper again will go under center. He's got two backs in the backfield. Two receivers split to the right side. He's going to take on fake the Corin Paul's going to hit Julian Deans on a little slant route. Nice throw, nice catch. Slot receiver Deans on a quick slant. We fake the toss to JP and hit Deans, and this will be a hurricane first down. 
Ball at the Indian 33-yard line. How nice play right there for Fisher. Nice throw and catch. Yep. Some, uh, some more of those offensive plays. Our defense, as usual, all year long, uh, is uh, stepping up and making some big plays. Got to get that offense going. Yes, we do. Uh, trips to the left side now. Shotgun formation for Cooper. He's going to send Sultan, uh, Cylon Davis, excuse me, in motion to the left side. A little hitch right. He's got Davis out in front blocking. I think that's Jamar Joseph, or was that? That may have been Calvin Tillman. Let me see. I believe that was 11, wasn't it, Bill? That's uh, let me see. I don't think it matters. It looked like it was a penalty it on the play. Does. That, that was Joseph on the stop. Illegal shift. I think uh, I think our guy in motion turned turned upfield just a little too soon, but we've got a an illegal motion call, and that's going to back us up five and wipe out a nice game by Jamar Joseph. 328 left here in the quarter. Uh, it's the second quarter. Fitzgerald up seven to nothing. First down 15 now. Ball back at the Indian 38-yard line. Two receivers split to the right side. Cooper under center. He's going to take, he's going to give to JP this time. Going to the left side with the wing back trap. And again, uh, well defended by the Indians. Pick up of maybe three. It's going to bring up a second down, and we'll call it 12. Hank want to say hello to Jeffrey Dobbins listening tonight, as he is every Friday night, and also uh, Michael and Vanessa Padgett, uh, longtime listeners. And also want to say a special hello to Mr. Wayne Wynn. I know he's yes. listening tonight. Wayne, 7 to nothing, Fitzgerald. A good ball game here at the stadium tonight. Uh, let's see if Fitzgerald can score here on this last drive uh, of the second quarter. Cooper Anderson is going to give quickly. I believe that's Davis on the carry. He's going to go for about four, maybe five, down to the 30-yard line, and this is going to bring up a big third down for Fitzgerald. I got Chris and Corey uh, Howell, my, my in-laws. They've got uh, uh, Hayden Hudson and Holton all listening to us. Guys, I hope you all are enjoying the ball game tonight. See if we can't holler go Canes and get this uh, offense moving. Some scores, Ware County 7, Banneker nothing, Creekside 7 to nothing over Coffees, Northeast 7 to nothing over Cook. And Marietta uh, looks like they're leading Tiff County by a score of 14 to nothing. And again, Cooper's going to take the snap. He's going to look to throw a little out route. We've got a receiver open, and the ball is dropped. A nice throw. A nice throw. It would have been a little bit short. Well, it was right at the first down mark. It may have been a first down. That's Tillman uh, on the out route. And uh, a nice throw by Cooper, but the ball is dropped, and this is going to bring up a fourth down situation, fourth down and eight. Got to catch that ball, Hank. Yes, we do. That was a big one. Really needed that one. Really needed that one. Shotgun formation now for Cooper. He's going to take it, drops the throw, trying to find somewhere to go with the football. He's got a receiver open, and he's overthrown. Going to be overthrown, and that's going to turn the football over on downs. Boy, Bill, we have to take advantage of these opportunities. Yep. And uh, on third down, really had a nice throw. We, we drop it, and then we have the receiver open there. It was, it was room to, to put that football, and uh, it was just a high throw. And we're going to turn it back over to Dodge County at Dodge, their own 30-yard line. Dodge held us at our own at uh, their own three-yard line, and uh, there Dodge County has held us again on fourth uh, down at the Dodge County 30-yard line. So two good defensive stands for Dodge County. Has kept Fitzgerald off the scoreboard here uh, uh, in the second quarter. We still lead 7 to nothing with a minute 55 left in the half. Dodge County trying a little trickery, and this play is completed. We had we had outstanding coverage. Cylon Davis from running step for step, a little quarterback throwback. The handoff to Keegan Williams and a throwback to the quarterback. We've got a flag in the defensive secondary. But a nice throw and catch, Williams to Duke Johnson. We had Cylon Davis running stride for stride uh, with Johnson, but a nice catch. And let's, it looks like we had pass interference on another receiver. But J Johnson gonna, caught the ball. Yes, right. it, yes, the quarterback caught that football. 10 to 15. And uh, 
First down, Dodge County at the Hurricane 48-yard line. Now twins to the right and left. Johnson, it looks like Gordon this time's in the backfield. Johnson's looking for somewhere to throw a little swing route out to Gordon. Passes behind him. Really wanted to go downfield with that football. Fitzgerald had outstanding coverage, so he checked down to, the, to his back out of the backfield and just uh, threw it a little bit behind him. Incomplete. Clock stops, 144. Remaining in the first half, second down 10 now, ball at the Fitzgerald 48-yard line. Again, twins right and left. Gordon and Johnson, you back to the backfield. Johnson trying to find somewhere to go to football. He's hit hard, but he does not go down. We've got him again. Out comes the flag. Let's see, we may have got him by the face mask. We may have got him by the face mask. Our coaches do not like the call. They think we had him by the jersey. It'll be a loss of eight if the play stands, but they're hovering like there's a face mask, and now that's going to be a hole. A hole? A hole against Fitzgerald? A hole against Fitzgerald at the point of the tackle. I'm not exactly sure of this call. Uh, Johnson was hit hard. I believe it was Lathan Curry. And uh, he did not go down, and then it was uh, Curry and Jaden Stanley. There were several Hurricanes there to bring him down, but they're going to call a hold against Fitzgerald from the point of tackle. Well, I think. Well, let's uh, let's go back now. I think they've. It, it's an incidental face mask. I call. got you. That's I what got it you. is. It's an incidental face mask. So that's going to give them five. They, they, the first indication was a hold, but I think it was an incidental face mask. That's going to give them five, and it's still second down and about 12. Two receivers right and left. Johnson takes a drop straight back. We've got pressure on him again. He's hit, but he gets it away to Mitchell. Mitchell down the the, the near sideline. Drew Moore will ride him out of bounds, but this is going to be a gain of close to 10, and it's going to bring up a third down and short now for Dodge County. Third down, and we'll call it three. I'll tell you, Johnson is hard to get on the ground. Just a freshman. But uh, they got him listed at 6'2", 170. Three receivers to the right side going to give to Mitchell, and he's hit hard by Daniel James at the line of scrimmage. He's going to go down to pick up maybe a yard, but this is going to bring up another fourth down for the Indians. Fourth Hank down in a couple. Hank a second quarter score. It looks like Fannin County, uh, 21, Bremen 7. Fannin 21, Bremen 7 is what we've got now from uh, Mike Rayner over at Lennox and in that score. And it looks like the punt unit has come out now for the Indians. I don't believe Fitzgerald's going to send anyone back deep. I'm just going to defend against it. Well, it looks like now Deans will. No, nope, they're going to bring him back up. We're going to defend against the fake. Fourth down and two. Ball at the Hurricane 41 yard line. 40 seconds remain. And we're going to have a timeout call by Dodge County. 41 seconds <clears throat> remain in the first half. And, uh, Bill, let's just keep it right here. Uh, this, uh, uh, we really need to stop. Uh, <laughs> we, we stop Dodge if. if if they don't change their mind, I, I'm, I'm concerned that they may t turn around and try to go for this thing. Well, you know, Hank, they're really uh, 41 seconds left. And uh, they, uh, I know they don't want to give the ball back to us at this point. But, uh, you know, I don't know. They've played uh, pretty good defense themselves tonight. They certainly have. And, uh, they certainly uh, have. But, uh, boy, Dodge, uh, that 19 play drive really ran the clock in that second it quarter in uh, Dodge County. Still not on the scoreboard, but they've run up some, some good yards here uh, in this first half. Fourth and two, and Dodge County still got that punting team out there. Yes, they do. But now, uh, Mitchell now, their, their running back is the up back um, for the punt unit. Uh, Fitzgerald with no one back deep. I'm really a little surprised that they don't go for this. But here's the, here it is, and, and they kick the ball away. And Fitzgerald's just going to let it let it go. It, it hits and takes a nice Fitzgerald bounce. Uh, backs up actually a two or three yards, and Fitzgerald will have it 
First and 10, looks like going to mark the ball at the Hurricane 15-yard line. <coughs> so it looks like Fisher will be able to get out of this half uh, with the lead. 33 seconds now remaining in the first qu- in the first half. Fitzgerald 7, Dodge County 0. Swainsboro 7, Laney nothing. Uh, Callaway 14, Pepperell nothing. Uh, Rabin over Pace Academy by a score of 16 to 7. We've got Jeff Davis over Jefferson County 14 to nothing. And as we mentioned a couple of minutes ago, Fannin County 21 and Bremen 7. Long way to go here yet. Fitzgerald up 7 to nothing. Clock winding down in the second quarter. Fitzgerald takes a snap and just kneels on the football, I, I believe, unless Dodge County calls a timeout. This is going to be the last play of the half. Uh, clock ticking down, 12, 11, 10, and I think that is going to do it. Uh, your score from the first half at J.C. Stadium, we've got a good one going. Fitzgerald 7, Dodge County 0. Please stay tuned at the half. Uh, we'll have Hal Wiley. We'll have some interviews. Bill will come back with all the first half stats and uh so please stay tuned for the landscape unlimited halftime show and we'll be right back to our school board members, Dr. Long, Superintendent, and Ms. Melvin, Principal, for their continued support. Tonight's show is entitled, The Spider-Verse, and we will play the following selections. Opening credits, Hero, Believer, Spider-Man Theme, Sunflower, and What's Up Danger.
Drum Major, is your band ready? You may take the field.
for the Dodge County Marching Chiefs. Marching troops, get ready, folks. It's time for our marching canes. Thank you, marching canes. You have been a valuable part of our Friday night and a Monday night football this year. You play, you've been in the stands, you've cheered. Thank you for your dedication. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Ben Hill County Board of Education, Superintendent Dr. Sean Harrelson, and Principal Mr. David Sims, we proudly introduce the 2021 Fitzgerald High School Marching Canes. The band is under the direction of Director Jonathan Thurston, Assistant Director Michelle Dennison, and Auxiliary Coordinator Trina Johnson. The show tonight, Back to the 80s, will include Michael Jackson's Beat It, Journey Separate Ways and Bon Jovi's Living on a Prayer. <laughs> Drum Major Jakira Walker, is your band ready to take the field? So sit back, relax, and enjoy the Fitzgerald High School Marching Canes.
gentlemen, let's have another round of applause for the big job high school, Marshall Gaines. Our band officers include Amber Guerra, Tatiana Clark, Layla Johnson, Kinley Ash, Ariana Slats, Nathan Mansfeld, Amani Smith, Nydia George, and Kaylin Bridgen. Tonight's officiating crew is Southwest Area District crew. Referee is Daryl Zell, umpire Damon Gordon, linesman Dan Hill, line judge Dwayne Major, side judge Alfonso Sample, field judge Ronald McDowell, back judge Edward Stevens, electric clock operator Keith Jackson, our PCO operator Jennifer Smith, chain crew Norman Newton, Orlando Baker, and Isaac Jackson. Oh my God.
Well, Hank, an interesting first half. Uh, yes, we lead seven to nothing, but uh, nothing real exciting for the fish on the offensive side of the ball. We did score one touchdown, uh, and we'll kind of recap that in just a few minutes. Uh, it was uh, uh, Denoris Goodman to Drew Moore on a three-yard touchdown run. But, Hank, we're going to get this kickoff going first. Dodge Cannon will be kicking it right to left as we start this quarter number three. Uh, get up there out of the easy chair. Pull for those purple hurricanes in this third quarter. And with play-by-play, -play, here's the voice of the hurricanes, Hank Brady. Thank you, Bill. A, a little short squib kick for the Indians. Fill it about the 30-yard line. Take it out across the 40, and Fitzgerald will have it first and 10 at their own 42-yard line. Taking a look at some stats, and uh, we'll kind of scan over these as we're awaiting this first play of scrimmage from Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald had a total of 117 yards in that first half. Dodge County had 143. Dodge attempted 11 passes, completed the seven for 62 yards. They had 81 yards rushing, so that gives them 143 in that first half. Fitzgerald, 72 yards rushing, 45 passing for a total of 117. Uh, the big stat in that first half, Hank, was Dodge County with two turnovers, yes. one through an interception, one through a fumble, and uh, that's where we stand. Fitzgerald seven, Dodge County nothing. Fitzgerald very fortunate. Uh, we dropped that dropped that snap. Uh, Cooper picks it up, just throws the ball away. Out comes a flag. I think we've got a hold against Fitzgerald on first down. Not a way of starting the, foot, the third quarter. No, just, just, not a way. just, just dropped the – Dropped the snap, and it threw off the timing of the, the entire play. Cooper did a nice job just to get rid of it, but out comes the flag, and that's going to back us up. That's going to back us up 10. It's going to be first down now and uh, about 20. It looks like that hold was, was yeah, actually behind the line of scrimmage, so it's actually going to be first down now, and let's call it about 25. You know, a 10 yard penalty actually turns in tight to about a, a 20 yard penalty. <laughs> yes, it does. does. It may be first and 30, Bill. Again, Cooper under center. We're going to give to the wing back. Coming right, trying to find some running room. Not much there. He'll push forward across the 25. We'll check the mark. We had the ball first and 10 at about the 22. Need to get to midfield. Uh, first down and 28, and we'll cross the 20. Five out to the 28-yard line. So was that Goodman on the carry, Hank? It was. Okay. So now it's going to be bring up second down. 22. Two receivers split left for Fitzgerald Cooper under center. And we're going to motion JP from wing back out left. Going to throw a little hitch route. He's got Jacorian Polk out blocking him front. That's Tillman. With the reception, with Polk out in front blocking, a pretty nice job uh, by Dodge County to shut it down. It's going to be a gain of about eight or ten on the play. Let's give him ten. It's going to bring up now third down and 12. Ball at the 38-yard line. Need to get to midfield for the first down. This first drive of the second half for Fisher really did not start out the way we wanted. A holding call on first down got us behind the chains. Now we need a big... Third down and 12 conversion to pick up this first down. Pitch up quickly to the line. And we're going to quick pitch this thing to E.J. Lysey. Lysey trying to find some running room. Just absolutely nothing there. He's not, uh, he, he may get back to the line of scrimmage and nothing more. We quickly come out with a quick pitch to the, to the right side. And uh, Dodge County uh, had several defenders out there. And out comes Taylor Spivey now and the punt unit. The big hold hit, really hurt Fitzgerald that play. Yes, Our did. first possession, uh, we'll, t we'll uh, be punting the ball to the Indians. We're punting it left to right, 9.53 left in the third quarter. Fitzgerald up 7 to nothing. Spivey in punt formation. Here's a snap and the kick. Low driving kick's going to be fielded at about the 25-yard line. Time to find some running room. Jalen James. On the return, it'll be a return of about three. Pretty nice job by Fitzgerald. Drew Moore, Calvin Tillman down on the stop for the Hurricanes. Indians will have it first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. 37-yard punt uh, by Spivey, and uh, nice job by the Dodge County receiver to not let that thing go over his head. That yes. uh, way that ball was headed, it would have it would have kicked on down in uh, around the 10-yard line. So Dodge County first and 10 on their first possession here 
They'll take over at the 28-yard line. Johnson on first down, going to try to throw quickly out to James. It's a high throw and incomplete. Just trying to hit James on a little dig route, about eight yards deep, and the uh, ball was well overthrown. It's going to bring up second down 10 now. Let's go, D. See if we can get a stop right here and get that football back. Second down 10. Quick shout out to my buddy Steve Taylor listening to us tonight. Steve, hope you're enjoying the ball game. See if we can pull these hurricanes through. Trips to the left side, and they're going to send James in motion. Going to give it to James on the jet sweep, trying to find some running room. Well defended by Fitzgerald. Daniel James, Robert Brown on the stop for the Hurricanes. Gain of about three, and that's going to bring up third down now, seven. Let's go D. Trips to the left side. Mitchell and Johnson are the backs in the backfield. One receiver to the right. Now they're going to motion receiver to the right side. Johnson takes it. He's going to look to throw. Face to the left. Comes back to his right. Actually hits a Fitzgerald defender in the shoulder. <laughs> and that ball is going to fall incomplete. Play well defended by Fitzgerald. Pump fake left. Wanted to go back to the right side. And Fitzgerald had it well defended. Good push from the defensive front and an incomplete pass. And it's fourth down in a punting situation now for the Indians. Maybe just what we were looking for, Hank. Thomas Field yes. 14, Washington County nothing. Rayburn all over pace 30 to nothing. Early 10, Blakely County nothing. Creekside over the Coffee High Trojans 21 to nothing. And Northeast 14, Cook County 6. Those were your late second quarter scores. And here's the pun. It's a high end ring kick, and we've, we've muffed the pun. Let's see if we get on it. I think we do. We mishandled the pun, but we're able to get on the football. I believe that was, was that Tillman. It may have been Jamar Joseph. Anyway, Fitzgerald able to get back on the football. We've got it first and 10 at our own 37-yard line. Bill, I'm really struggling tonight with these numbers. I'm, I'm having difficulty <laughs> making well, these things out. Uh, me too, Hank. Me too. All right, Fitzgerald takes over. We're moving it right to left. Here in the third quarter, we're up 7 to nothing. Fitzgerald first and 10 at our own 37-yard line. Single wing formation now. Denars Goodwin. Shotgun formation. He's going to take it, going to follow those big up backs to the right side, trying to find some running room. Not much there. Maybe a couple. Play well defended. That's Will Cox on the carry. Uh, the, the good one, I believe. Good one. No, you're right, Bill. That was, that was Donald Wilcox. Good one now checks into the ball game. We've got Julian Dean split wide to the right side. We've got our heavy single wing package to the left. This time it's Denaris Goodwin, and we're going to give to JP. He found a little running room, runs over a couple of guys, jumps one, and he's just driving them downfield. Again, a little counter with the wing back. Jacory and Pope, tough running, just ran through a couple of tackles and leaped over a defender. And this is going to be a big first down carry for Paul down to the Dodge County 37-yard line, first and 10 for show. I think a 24-yard pickup, and uh, boy, we like the way that looked. We like that offensive line, the push from them, and we like that first down inside Dodge territory at their 38-yard line, 7-33. In the quarter, Fitzgerald up seven to nothing. Again, we've gone to the single wing formation to the left side. We roll the football back to Wilcox, just nowhere to go. Uh, luckily, he scoops the ball up, turns around, nowhere to go. We're going to lose uh, about three on the play, but uh, very fortunate to hang on to that football. That uh, that snap rolled back to Donald Wilcox. <coughs> uh, hey, we hadn't seen that. Uh, our center has been very consistent with his uh, snaps all night long. That and roll back, as you said, but... Um, Hey, let's regroup here. Yes. It's going to be second and 14. A little behind the change, and out comes 
Salton Cooper. Two receivers to the left side. Cooper now under center. And Cylon Davis in the backfield. Cooper's going to throw the hitch right to the left side. Jacorian Polk out in front. I believe that's Tillman once again with the reception. He's going to pick up about five or six. Carry the ball down to the Dodge County 35-yard line. And it's going to bring up a third down and eight for Fitzgerald. 6.20, clock ticking in this third quarter. Fitzgerald with a seven-point lead. Really need to get some more points on the board. And what we also need, Hank, is let this defense have a little rest. We need a yes, first down do. right here. Twins right and left now for Fitzgerald. Southern Cooper in the shotgun formation. Cooper takes the snap, looks to throw down field. Going to throw a little tunnel screen, and it's incomplete. Well read. That was Gordon. I'm trying to see who our – that was Jacorian Polk, the intended receiver, and he was hit uh, just as the ball arrived, and that ball's going to fall incomplete. Uh, nice job defensively by the Indians. And yeah. he's going to bring up a fourth down. Yeah, might as well go for it here, Hank. Uh, of course, not a bad – play to try to kick it deep, pin dodge deep in the end zone, but I think Coach put all year long, uh, he's gone for these situations uh, down at the 35-yard line. Down the Wing formation. Sheldon Cooper takes it. Oh, my goodness. That's a, that's a lateral. That ball went backwards. Let's get on that football. And they're going to call it call an incomplete it. pass. That was a mighty late whistle. Tried to throw a little throwback to, to the – Running back, Goodwin, it was well defended. Uh, I think uh, Cooper really tried to hold up. Uh, I think if he throws that pass, it's probably a pick six. Yep. And the ball got away from him. I honestly thought that it uh, that it went behind him and was a, a lateral, but uh, they're going to call it an incomplete pass, and we'll turn the football over on downs. I think Hank, just as Cooper looked to throw it, he saw that oh, white yes. shirt sitting out there, and yep. he all of a sudden he backed off on the throw. Yes, uh, had he not, it would have been Ooh. an interception for a touchdown. Dodge takes over at the Fitzgerald 35, or excuse me, at the Dodge 35. On first down, they're going to give to Gordon. He runs through a tackle at the line of scrimmage, and he's going to pick up 10 and a, a first down for the Indians. Tough running by Gordon. Fitzgerald really needs to get some offense going, Bill. It's uh, Can't leave his defense out all night. Trips to the right side. One receiver to the left, that's James. Got Gordon and Johnson are in the backfield. Johnson takes the snap. He's going to give to Gordon one more time, and he is hit hard. E.J. Lightsey on the stop for Fitzgerald. He hits Gordon hard and just drives him into the ground. It'll be a gain of a couple, but a big lick on Gordon by Lightsey. Going to bring up second down eight. I think that's a bigger than a big lick. Whew. I uh, mean. That's a giant lick. Uh, and, uh, Gordon checks out. Mitchell comes into the ball game. Two receivers right and left now for the Indians. Johnson takes it. He's going to look to throw. Got a receiver open over him on the left side, and it's complete. And will step out of bounds. That's Braylon Mincy with the reception, and this will be a first down Dodge County. At the Fitzgerald 42-yard line. Hank, just a nice throw and catch by the Indians. Uh, they fooled us on that one. A wide open receiver. Uh, number 14, I believe yeah, that, that was. was Mincy, Mincy on Mincy. the reception. Yes. And uh, Dodge uh, has posted their second first down on this drive. Fitzgerald 7, Dodge County nothing. 454 left in the third quarter. And trips to the right side. This is going to be motion. Everybody on the offense moved except for the center. Back them up. Back them up five. Bill, we need to get some get some electricity in this stadium. It seems about the momentum that sort of shifted to Dodge County. I agree with you, Hank. I totally agree with you. Dodge County is outplaying us right now on offense. We really are. They are. Uh, you remember they had a 19-play drive in that second quarter. It ran a lot of clock uh, off the Ran a lot of clock, kept Fitzgerald off the off the uh, off the field, but that that'll help Fitzgerald with that five-yard penalty right there. On first down, Johnson's gonna 
Take the jet sweep, keep it himself. And again, you've got EJ Lightsey. Robert Brown will be on the stop. It's going to be a gain of a couple, but another nice job by that fifth chair defense. Yeah, EJ Lightsley is, uh, boy, he's lighting them up out there right now. He looks like he might be trying to take charge of this thing, Hank, on the defensive side of the ball. Another great play by him. Let's see what we do here on second and 13. I agree, Bill. I think EJ's trying to trying to get uh, a little fire on the sideline in, in this crowd. Uh, another nice stop by Lightsey. Second down now, 13. Ball at the Hurricane 45-yard line. Two receivers right and left. Johnson takes the snap, drops straight back, trying to find the place. So we got some, we got some on him. Let's check this. And that was Jaden Stanley. Stanley runs by and just grabs him by the jersey and snatches him down for the sack. Nice job by Stanley. It's gonna be a loss of about four on the play. And that's gonna bring up third down. Third down and close to 20 now. We're gonna call it 22. Trips to the right side. Johnson and Mitchell in the backfield for the Indians. Johnson takes a quarterback draw right the middle of the field. Runs through one tackle, but Daniel James and Anthony Hill on the stop. And it's going to bring up a fourth and long. Hank, he picked up eight, but well short of a first yes. time. He needs 14 more. Uh, so Dodger will have to punt the football. They'll be punting it right to left. The ball's at the Fitzgerald 46-yard line. 250 left in the quarter. That's the third quarter. Fitzgerald up seven to nothing. Got to watch this right here now. I want to be careful. Let's, uh, let's don't do something foolish down here trying to receive this punt. Yes, we had Jamar Joseph back deep. And they ran him back up. Now it looks like they're gonna they're gonna walk him up. We're just gonna defend against the fake. And Joseph's gonna let this ball go over his head. And it's gonna hit and take a Dodge County roll, and it's gonna go out of bounds. Looks like at about the Fitzgerald 15 yard line. Nice job by that Fitzgerald defense, and we go back on offense at our own 15. Let's take a quick timeout. We'll be right back. This is timeout is brought to you by the Family Home Center in Douglas. Please stay tuned. And on first down, Cooper's going to keep it himself uh, at the right uh, guard. Not much there, a gain of a yard. That's going to bring up second down, nine. Looks like Donald Wilcox checks into the football game for Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald now goes into their single wing formation. Wilcox, Salon Davis are your backs in the backfield. I'm going to give to Davis at the right tackle. And the nice run by Davis, a little bit of a hole, and he just drives them back. This looks like it's going to be a first down pitch, and it will be. Nice, tough run by Salon Davis. Good job by that pitch offensive line. Opened a little hole right at, at right tackle. All right, was that Cylon Davis 23 or Jacor and Prop 13? That was 23. Okay. That was 23. First and 10 now, Fitzgerald. Ball at the 26. Again, single wing formation. I think this time it's Denaris Goodwin with the K. Goodwin with another nice run. This time at the left tackle. Goodwin's helmet comes off. It's going to be a gain of close to 10. We'll check the mark. And it looks like it's going to be a gain of about 11 and another hurricane first down. Two rushes from the single wing and two first downs. Uh, let's stay with that for a few minutes. Yes. See if we can pick up another first down. Less than a minute left. Fitzgerald up seven to nothing. 
winding down this quarter number three. And again, it's a single wing formation. This time it looks like Donald Wilcox will take the snap. And again, it's Cylon Davis to his right. Wilcox takes the snap. Finds some running room. And Wilcox is down to 30. Maybe a touchdown. He's down to 30, the 25, the 20. He's going to go. <laughs> touchdown, Donald Wilcox. Dodge County had walked several up. Will Cox broke the line of scrimmage and there was nobody back there. It was just a foot race. And Donald Wilcox outruns him to the goal line. Touchdown, Fitzgerald. I think a 61-yard run, and we ran three single wing plays in a row. Two for a first down, the third one for a 61-yard touchdown run. And all of a sudden, that scoreboard says, thir uh, says uh, 13 for Fitzgerald. Zero for Dodge County. Here comes the point after. Boy, Bill, just what we needed. A little bit of spark, give some life to this crowd. Little electricity in this stadium. Trejo in for the point after try. Spivey with the hole. It's a we've got whistles. Let's check the looks like this is gonna be encroachment on the defense. And that's gonna move it half the distance to the goal line. And we're gonna run the offense back out there and, and go for two. Encroachment by the defense. 34 seconds remain in the third quarter. Fitzgerald now up by 13. And out comes the offense. Ball now at about the one and a half yard line and we're gonna go for two. Denaris Goodwin gonna take the direct snap, trying to find some running room. He's in there. And he is, yes he is. He's in there for the two point conversion. Nice tough running by Wilcox at the left guard. And with 34 seconds remaining in the third quarter, your score now, Fitzgerald 15, Dodge County zero, and we'll head back to Paul in the station. And again, this timeout is brought to you by the Family Home Center in Douglas. Please stay tuned. Got it. What a drive. What a drive. Well, Bill, just what we needed right there. Uh, Donald Wilcox gives this uh, Hurricane home stands uh, a little bit of life with a 61-yard touchdown run. Yeah, but Hank, the key right here now is we're going to kick it to Dodge. Let's, uh, let's, let's see if we can stop Dodge and, uh, and uh, make them punt the football and uh, get that offense back out on the field for the Hurricanes and keep that defense off and give them some more rest time. That's right. Trejo with the short squib kick, and Dodge will have – Good field position uh, at their own 45 yard line. I think we'll recap that scoring yes. drive here in just a second. And, 20, uh, 28 seconds remain in this third quarter. Fitzgerald now with the 15 point lead. Let's go to mark this ball at the Dodge 44. Two receivers right and left now for the Indians. And it looks like Gordon in the backfield with Johnson. They're going to motion to the right side. This is going to be a double throw, and they've got a receiver downfield. Boy, Bill, I'm going to tell you, I think he might have thrown that thing to the wrong receiver. Uh, <laughs> they have one on the far sideline, Keegan Williams. Uh, looks like he had a couple of steps on our defensive back, but we throw it across the field, and actually Julian Deans had pretty nice coverage. Uh, and that ball will fall incomplete. Yeah, Hank, you know, that's easy to see from up here. Yes. Uh, not as easy on that field. But they had a receiver not. along the Dodge County uh, players meet that, that had a couple steps on him. But uh, falls incomplete, 21 seconds left in the third quarter. And again, Dodge takes the snap. That's Johnson. He's going to give 
to Gordon. Looks like it's Fitzgerald defense starting to get a little life about him, a little bit of nasty. I think that once again was EJ Lightsey on the stop. Uh, trying to see who else, who else gets up from the bottom of that pile. Anthony Hill, Daniel James, several hurricanes, and that's going to be the last play of the third quarter. Your score from J.C. Stadium after three. Your Fitzgerald Purple Hurricane 15, the Dodge County Indians zero. And we'll take a family home center in Douglas timeout. You come right back. I see where Early County's leading Blakely. I heard you say that. Yes, yes. Is uh, that correct? 16 to nothing now. Because, I mean, you know, Early. And we're back, third down and about seven. Dodge County takes a snap. Johnson trying to go somewhere with the football, and we're all over him. We've got three or four guys back there. I see Don Hill, Daniel James. Looks like Lathan Curry, Jaden Stanley. I have four guys back there. We're going to drop Johnson with the sack back to the 40-yard line. There was a holding call against the Indians. Of course, we'll decline that penalty. And it's going to bring up a fourth down and about 14 now for the Indians. And out comes the punt unit. Hank, a, a play when we uh, got an extra guy or two in there. And, uh, Duke Johnson looking for a receiver, just couldn't find him. They held, but uh, we'll decline that penalty. And that's what we ordered. Dodge County ran three plays, and it looked like they got to punt the football. That'll put our offense back on the field and give that defense a little rest, but uh, still looked like we got another penalty on the play. It looked like Dodge County has jumped offside, and uh, they may be penalized five more yards. I think you're exactly right there, Bill. It's going to back them up five more. A little motion out here on this right side. Let's recap that last score. Donald Wilcox for Fitzgerald, a 61-yard touchdown run. The point after for two was good, and the Norris Goodwin uh, ran that two-point conversion in. An 85-yard four-play drive, and uh, Fitzgerald now leads 15 to nothing. Pump formation now for the Indians. High snap, and this punt is off the side of his foot. We're just going to get away from it and let it roll out of bounds. Fitzgerald's going to have outstanding field position. Uh, uh, a short kick after the bad snap, and Fitzgerald will have it first and 10. Looks like at their own uh, 45, maybe 46-yard line. Two penalties uh, really backed Dodge County up, and then they had a, a snap that just about went over the punter's head, and then they have a 19-yard punt. So Fitzgerald looking right here, Hank, for something else to good to happen to their offense. We'll take over at the Fitzgerald 46-yard line. Uh, we're moving it right to left, 11:39 left in the ball game. Single wing formation out of the right side. Goodwin's going to take the snap, trying to find some running room. Hit at the line of scrimmage, not much there. He's going to push and fall forward. Let's give him two on the carry. Hank, we just recapped that uh, Donald Wilcox 61-yard drive, and we want to make mention that uh, that in-game scoring summary is brought to you by Melissa Burgess, owner agent of Coldwell Banker Active Real Estate. And they are located at 125 South Main Street. Their phone number 423-SOUL, 423-7653. Again, single wing formation. This time it's Donald Wilcox to take the snap. Up back to the right side. Wilcox takes it. He's going to follow some blocking. Comes back to the left. He's still on his feet. Nice tough running by Donald Wilcox. Uh, really a poor job by D Dodge County. Had him hemmed up and tried to throw him to the ground. Uh, and when he did, you know, Wilcox just kept his balance and and. Went for three or four more, and it's going to bring up a third down and a couple now for Fitzgerald. Donald Wilcox, our leading carrier tonight. Hank, six carries, 69 yards. Denaris Goodman, he's got 43 yards on nine carries. 
And Jacorian Paul, three carries for 53 yards. I got Jesse Graham listening to us tonight. Jesse, hope you're enjoying the ball game. Third down now and two. And again, this is Goodwin going to take the snap. Follows those up backs, and he's driving. They've got him, but he's going to pick up a Fitzgerald first down. Only needed a couple, and he's going to pick up maybe four on the play. It'll be another Fitzgerald first down. This time the ball will be spotted at the 41-yard line of the Indians. I want to say hello to Vivian Pittman, Valerie Wilcox, and uh, Debbie Fitzgerald in the back deck crew. Well, we're glad they're listening as they are every night. That's Edward Larry. Uh, Debbie and all the, the folks over, glad y'all are listening. I hope you're enjoying the game. And we've got a score now, Early County 16, Blakely County 6. Cam Jackson now is going to take the snap of Fisher. And again, we're going to give this to JP on the wing back counter. Polk's going to pick up four or five. Good tough running by Jacorian and Polk. Nice little push by the left side of this Fitzgerald offensive line. Nine forty-three in the game. Fitzgerald up fifteen to nothing. Cam Jackson checks out. Donald Wilcox checks back in. We're going to send Julian Deans wide right. We've got our single wing package in. Two up backs to the right side. Wilcox takes the snap. He follows those big up backs. Just puts his hand on the back, lowers his shoulder, and just drives forward, getting everything he can out of it. And he's going to go for another three or four yards. Let's give him four. And this is going to bring up a third down and a yard for the Hurricane. Hank John Clemens, Perry Taylor, and uh, P.J. Taylor listing from the hunting club tonight. And... Uh, we're glad they're listening. I want to say hello to uh, John, Laurie. Uh, nope, that's someone else listening tonight there. I ain't got, a, got some old names came up on my message. How about that? That's all right. That's all right. Well, Perry, I hope you're enjoying the ball game. Perry Taylor, hadn't, hadn't seen Perry in a while. Uh, played a little ball uh, got, with his brother Thomas and, and with Perry. Got Matt, Matt and Jessica Smith, Dave and Jennifer Hurlovitz listening tonight. Got a Fannin County 28, Bremen 7. That's the latest score uh, from there. And if that score holds, and the score holds here, Fitzgerald next week will be traveling up to Fannin County, a place that uh, we know exactly how to get there. Yes, Went we up do. there last year. Long ride, but we know the way, Bill. Timeout was for a, a measurement, and Fitzgerald picks up the first down by the nose of the football. So it's first down, Fitzgerald. Ball at the Indian 31-yard line. Was that on Goodwin's carry, Hunt? Huh? Yes, it okay. was. I think you feel good right now. Uh, up by 15, and we've got the football. Yes. This looks like Denars Goodwin once again is going to take the snap. They're trying to wrap him up, and he's just continually driving those legs. Not much of a hole there, but he's still going to drive forward and pick up two, maybe three. Just good, tough running by Denars Goodwin once again. I want to say hello to Jimmy and Alicia Davis. They had texted us earlier that they're listening. Bill, I understand that uh, Jesse Graham told me they're enjoying the ball game on Brother Gill's back porch. Gill, hope you're enjoying the ball game. Clock running, 8.20 now. Left in the ball game. Fits here with the 15-point lead. A little confusion getting these folks lined up. Unless we're going to call. <coughs> we tried to call a timeout. Did we get it called? Yeah. Time I think we got sure. timeout called. The uh, play clock was winding down. And uh, Fitzgerald calls a timeout uh, to prevent the uh, five-yard penalty. With the timeout on the field, let's go back to Paul in the station. And, again, this timeout is brought to you by the Family Home Center in Douglas. Please stay tuned. Got 
Hal, are you, can you hear me now, Hal? Right, Paul, we'll take it back whenever you're ready. Hal, can you hear me, Hal? I don't see. He's down here to the right. He doesn't yeah. have his headset on. Hal, can you hear Three, me? Two, one, take. Greg Mumford listened to us, Bill. Okay, good. Welcome back. Second down now. We're going to call it seven. Direct snap. Out comes a flag. This may be a hold against the hurricane. Let's check it out. Comes another late flag. Bill, I'm trying to see. I think that was. Is that Cam Jackson with the. I believe that was Cylon Davis with the carry for Fitzgerald. But I've, I've, let's check these two. These two flags. The first one came out. I thought would, would probably be a hold against us, and then a, a late flag came out uh, in the defensive secondary. We've got a hold against Fitzgerald. And let's let's try to check this this second flag. The officials are discussing it. Like another score, Thomas Field 28, Washington County, nothing. Want to say hello to Wayne, Chris, Michelle Wynn. They're listening tonight, and also Betty and Don Norris, always listening to Fitzgerald High School football, and that does look like a hole. Yes. Okay, called a hole. <coughs> Got a hold against Fitzgerald. I guess maybe. All right, and then we've got a, a dead ball, unsportsmanlike, against Fitzgerald. So we're going to back up 10, and then we're going to back up 15 more. So okay. this is uh this is going to really really move us back. How can you hear us? I don't think how. How. He's, I think he hears He's trying now. to hear us. He's looking. It's going to be second down in a mile. We're on our own 47-yard line, and we've got to get down to the uh, right out the 20. So uh, that's 30, 33 yards we need for our first down. I don't know exactly what you're calling right here, Bill, but let's see what we do. Single wing formation to the right side. We're going to give this thing to JP. Trying to find some running room. Nothing there on the – Wing back counter, a little trap, maybe a gain of a yard. I'll bring up third down and very, very long. Hal, if you pick us up down there, let us know. We've been uh, trying to get word down there to you. <laughs> so uh, I think his batteries may have gone out on him down there, Bill. I think he's lost the microphone, but uh, don't worry about it, Hal. We got a new one up here. Hey, no, <laughs> hey, look at him. Oh, got it up here. Hey, he doesn't need batteries. He needs the mic. He left the mic up here in the booth with us. That's good. He can, he can hear us. He just can't talk to That's us. That's good sideline reporting. Let's <laughs> leave the mic in the in the press box. Uh, it was like, uh, I believe this was Davis again. Sideline Davis on the carry. Out comes another flag. Uh, it's going to be a gain of uh, two or three. Um, I think it's maybe another hold against Fitzgerald. Howe's been talking to his hand down there. <laughs> he certainly has. <laughs> we'll see if we can get somebody to come up here and get the microphone and send it down there to him. I'll see if I can get uh, maybe Brother Brian. All right, let's take a minute and uh, mention this. I know we are uh, the Georgia High School Associ Association is a voluntary nonprofit organization composed of over 460 public and private high schools. The Georgia High School Association administers regulations for region and state competition, 19 sports and two activities. Founded in 1908, the Georgia High School Association strives for good sportsmanship, participant safety, and fair play among its member schools. For information, visit ghsa.net. You can find the Georgia High School on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And the Georgia High School Association would like to thank its corporate partners for their valuable support of high school athletics and activities, and they are Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance, Georgia Electric Membership Corporation, Gatorade, Wilson, BSM Sports, the Atlanta Hawks, Mizuno, Atlanta Braves, Subway, Sports Medicine South, Atlanta Track Club, NFHS Network, Regions Bank, Max Prep, GoFan, and the Georgia Broadcasting Association. 
Boy, Bill, that's a mouthful, isn't it? It is. Here's the, the kick. It's a nice kick, but fielded on the run by James. And I believe I'm trying to see. That was Daniel James with the stop. That was Jalen James, J-A-Y-N-E-S, Jalen James with the return for the Indians and Daniel James with the, with the big hit. But a nice kick for Spivey. Thomas Field 28, Washington County nothing. And uh, we'll catch some more of these scores here as we're winding things down tonight. Dodge County has it first and 10 at their own 34-yard line. 6.58 remaining in the football game. Fitzgerald still with a 15-point lead. Quick little hitch route for the Indians. This ball is overthrown. Keegan Williams, the intended receiver, a well overthrown, and it'll be incomplete. Be second down now, 10. I ain't got to say hello to Miss Jane Stewart uh, listening tonight. Uh, also, James and Donna Wiley always listen to our program tonight. And Mr. Paul Griffin, don't want to miss Mr. Griffin. Uh, Paul, thank you for listening as you do every Friday night. The Fitzgerald Purple Hurricane football. Second down again. Going to throw quickly. This is the James. Pass is complete. We're going to force him out of bounds. It's going to be a gain of about five, maybe six on the play. Looks like Anthony Hill may have been the first hurricane over there to force him out of bounds. It's going to bring up third down now and four. Six thirty-seven. Fitzgerald up fifteen to nothing. Third down. Indians come set. Johnson takes it. He drops straight back, trying to find somewhere to throw the football. He's got a receiver over the middle of the field. That's Williams with the reception. Jaden Stanley with the tackle for Fitzgerald, but not before Williams picks up an Indian first down at the Hurricane 47-yard line. This thing far from over. Fitzgerald up 15 to nothing. Dodge County is in our territory now at the Fitzgerald 48. Let's go, D. Need a big stop. Johnson again drops straight back. A little swing route. I believe that was Gordon, number one, with the reception. A little swing route out of the backfield to Gordon. He's going to pick up about eight on the play. Guys, let's get us a stop. Let's get that football back. Uh, plenty of time left in this game. Just under six minutes. Two receivers right and left. Gordon and Johnson are your backs in the backfield for the Indians. Johnson drops straight back, looking for somewhere to throw the football. He's going to just pull it down and run with it, and he's going to pick up an Indian first down and go out of bounds to stop the clock. Needed about, needed only just, just a couple, about eight. Looks like he's going to, excuse, excuse me, needed two. Looks like he's going to pick up about three or four. And another Indian first down. Ball inside the Hurricane 40, down to the Hurricane 38-yard line. 5.30 remaining in the ball game. Another quick little hitch route. And that's James, number 10, on the reception. That was a big hit for Fitzgerald. I'm trying to see. I think that may have been Lightsey again or, or Robert Brown. but it's going to be a gain of seven for the Indians. Twins right and left again. There's going to be another a, a high throw, but he goes up and gets it, and we miss a tackle. And James is going to take this down inside the ten, close to the five. Boy, we really jumped that route. I thought we might pick that thing off, but a very nice throw by Johnson. A high throw. James goes up and get it. We miss a tackle. And this is going to be first down and goal to go. The ball at the Fitzgerald five-yard line. Hey, this thing's still far from over. It really is up 15 to nothing, but uh, Dodge County is inside our five-yard line right there in our four-yard line. Come on, D. Let's go, D. Johnson's going to take He's going to give that to Mitchell. And he's hit by <coughs> Daniel James and Denaris Goodwin. At the line of scrimmage, he'll fall forward and pick up a couple. 
going to bring up second down now. Goal, ball inside the three-yard line. Clock running, four and a half minutes remaining in the game. Now Gordon checks into the backfield with Johnson. Dodge County has two up backs. Johnson going to keep a little, a little jump pass. He tried it in a, a nice job. I'm trying to see, is that, is that number two? That it? No, that was an EJ. That's an eight with the deflection. I thought he was going to deflect it and intercept it. Wouldn't that have been sweet? Yes, it would have been. Uh, the jump pass, the little uh, Tim Tebow jump pass, but uh, EJ Lightsey right there to de deflect the football. And now it's third down and goal. Now you've got a, and that's Gordon again. They're going to give to Gordon. He's hit in the in the backfield, but he's going to fight and squirm, and he's going to cross the goal line for the score. Poor Bill, I thought we had him at about the, the line of scrimmage, but just nice, tough running. And that is Demron, Demron Gordon. Junior running back for the Indians. And he goes in for the score. First points of the night for the Indians come at the 413 mark of the fourth quarter. Well, we need to sort of line up in an unusual formation, kind of like Fitzgerald does. Going to drop back and try to throw it. They throw this ball out of the end zone. I'm going to be honest. I believe I would have. I believe I would have kicked out and to stay in the ball game. I, now they're the score is 15 to six. Dodge County still down by two scores. Dodge County goes for two. Looks like we've got an illegal formation by Dodge County. Fitzgerald's going to wave that thing off. We're just going to. Decline it, and now Fitzgerald leads 15-6. I tell you now, everybody needs to. What's the length of that drive, Hank? Let's see, Bill. Figure I've it all out there. Let's see. I've got this thing at 64 yards and nine plays. Man. Well. 15 to 6 now, 413 left. And Bill, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's the same score we beat these guys by back in it, week three. Wasn't it 15 to 6? It was. And uh, of course, uh, we're going to have one more chance at the, at the at scoring. Hopefully, of course, this onside kick coming. Let's see what's going to happen right here, Hank. We're lined up to, right. for the kick. Here it comes. It's a slow roller. Oh, and it was touched well before the 10 yard mark. That, that ball will be down. It's going to be illegally touched by the defense uh, after about seven yards. Uh, it was not even close. Nope, and that'll be a illegal touching, and I think we'll get the ball right there if we elect to. I'm and certain, I'm sure we will. I'm certain we'll, we'll get that football. Guys, how, how, hey. Uh, hey, hey, you got your mic. Yeah, I, I sent old Zach Lucky up there <laughs> I, to get I, it from you. I, I gave it to him a little while ago. I, I just thought you were going to just, uh, <laughs> just, just uh, holler, holler over there and see if Paul could hear you. I don't reckon we could have <laughs> just not mentioned that. And y'all had to. <laughs> well, we well, kept hollering for you, know, you and uh, hollering for you. Honest, honesty in broadcasting, yeah. Hal. Honesty in broadcasting. Well, I, I'm going to tell you what, um, that Dodge County, that two point conversion, I, I was down there. That, that was a little that, that was a poor effort uh, right there and I'm glad they they, they did that because uh, not getting that extra point or the two point conversion is really going to help us out we need to put this thing away right here yes we do 413 remains in the football game Fitzgerald with a nine point lead Fitzgerald back to the single wing formation we've got Denaris Goodwin set to take this snap Goodwin's going to take it follow his up backs He's trying to stay in bounds. And it looks like he will. He's going to pick up only two or three. But uh, a very smart play by Goodwin just to uh, sort of give himself up and, and go down, which they sort of <laughs> rode him on down to the ground. But uh, the clock continues to run. Looks like Fannin County is going to win the ball game against Bremen. They're up 35-7. to seven. And... Uh, if this hole's here, uh, we'll make a trip up to North Georgia yes, next week. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. 
Clock running, three and a half minutes left to go. And again, single wing formation. This time it's Wilcox to take the snap. Donald Wilcox takes it, follows those up backs. He's going to pick up two or three or four, but uh, we're much more concerned with that clock. Clock continues to run. Brian and uh, Levy Overstreet uh, listening uh, from up in Cummings, Georgia Knot. We're glad to have him on board with us. Want to say hello to uh, also uh, Troy and Winona Roberts. Uh, we know they're listening tonight. And Miss Shirley Coxon, she's always uh, there listening. And uh, want to say hello to Jim and Polly Davis, longtime listeners to the to the broadcast. Uh, not only this Friday night, but uh, every Friday night. I've got a shout out to uh, Molly Griffin. Hope she's enjoying the broadcast. Let's see what we got. We're going to 240. Remains in the football game. Coach Tucker Foot wants to call a timeout. Uh, with the timeout on the field, we'll go back to Paul in the station. This timeout once again brought to you by the Family Home Center in Douglas. And please stay tuned. And on third down, once again, we go to the wing back counter, and I believe we cough that football up, and we do. We fumble the football, and Dodge County recovers. It would have been fourth down in about a yard, but uh, the, the ball comes out, and it's going to be first and 10 Dodge County at their own 39-yard line. And Bill, that's exactly what we didn't need. Two thirty remaining in the football game. Fitzgerald still with a nine-point lead. First turnover of the night for us, Hank. Yes. Johnson takes the drop straight back. We've got whistles. Let's see what we've got going. And it's going to be a little motion against the Indians. That'll back them up five. Now how important, Hank, is that uh, nine-point lead? Oh, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I was, I was very surprised that they didn't kick the point uh, to keep the, the game at eight points to stay in this football game. Two receivers right and left. Johnson takes that, drops straight back, a little pump fake, trying to go. And the ball comes out. He's hit by Daniel James. The ball comes out. I think Fisher may have got the football. Let's check the call. Fisher comes away with it. Daniel James forces the, the fumble, the strip sack, and it looks like James comes out of the bottom of the pile with the football. How about that? That's doing it all right there, Bill. That sure is. Nice job, Daniel James. <coughs> Fitzgerald will have it first and 10 at the 34-yard line of the Indians. I think you got to give more than one uh, credit on that play now. I tell you, two or three of those Hurricanes got after them. They were all in in that pile digging for that yes, ball. They were. And, uh, the officials had to stick their stick their head and their hand down there. And who's got the football, boys? And finally, one of those Hurricanes said, "I got it right here, Mr. Ref." And uh, yes, we did. Fitzgerald with the turnover or receiving the turnover from Dodge, and uh, we've got the football as the clock's winding down here. We're up 15 to nothing. Defense again, Hank. Yes, it was. Direct snap to Cam Jackson. He's going to pick up a couple, and uh, Dodge County's going to call timeout. 2-12 uh, remaining in the football game. 
I tell you, we've got a timeout on the field. Let's go back to Paul in the station for this family home center in Douglas timeout. Well, Hank, uh, looks like we're going to drive to Blue Ridge, Georgia, next I Friday think, night. I think we may. I think we may. Denar's good one now. Shotgun formation takes a snap, trying to find some running room at right guard. Finds a little crease. He's hit hard. He's going to pick up five or six yards, and Dodge County's going to call another quick timeout, uh, two, two minutes and one second. This football game is going to be third down and three, Bill, and we've got another timeout on the field. Hank, uh, a score that uh, you said was identical to the last time we played them. And, uh, I believe I it is. I think you're right on that. I believe it is. I think you're going to be right on that one. So uh, it's a good score. And. Uh, we're glad to get this win tonight. Let's see who else might be listening to yes. us. I'll check my message. And uh, I've got uh, I've got Rich Duncan and F. J. Cole listening to us. He said F. J. Cole train. Yeah. I want to say hello to Polk, uh, J. J. Robert, Brian, and Michelle. They're listening tonight on WRDO Radio. And. Uh, I'm just scanning our messages to see if we've left anyone out. I think I must have left out uh, Betty's name, as I was mentioning the the uh, the crew from uh, Cinderella. So, uh, Betty, we're glad you're listening tonight to the ball game. We've got third down and three. Looks like Donald Wilcox will take his direct snap, trying to find some running room. He's keeping those legs driving. Let's see if he can pick up a first down. I think he did. Only needed three. I think he may have picked up four. Well, hey, we're going to survive this round. One of the state playoffs, uh, a round that started with 32 teams in double A, and we're one of the 16 left still playing. That's right. Uh, congratulations to the Purple Hurricanes. Oh, yes. Not a, an awful big night on offense for the Hurricanes, but the, that defense uh, bowed, their, bowed their necks again tonight, poked the chest out, and uh, made some key stops to hold Dodge County to so far just six points on the night. Yes, sir, Bill. The Fitzgerald defense has uh, really carried us all year long and uh, another nice performance tonight. The offense has done just enough. Uh, to, to bring away this big win. Uh, Dodge County has called their final timeout with 145 remaining in the football game. A couple of more snaps, and uh, this ball game will be over. Uh, Fitzgerald looks like, Bill, as you say, will be traveling up to Fannin County, uh, Blue Ridge, Georgia. So uh, we're going to have a going to have a long ride, and we'll uh, we'll see. We'll see what we have. Looks like Thomasville is uh, going to win. They were winning 28 to nothing over Washington County. We'll see if that score holds out. Oh. And uh, Raven was all over Pace Academy, 39 yes. to six. Swainsboro was winning big over Laney at last report. Northeast and Cook were pretty close. Northeast 28, Cook 16, and not sure how that wound up. But we'll we'll check some scores here as this game winds down. Oh, Bill. Your most favorite uh, formation in football, the old victory formation. Yeah. And uh, Sultan Cooper takes a knee. And uh, Dodge County, uh, no, no chance to stop the clock as it's running down, 123, 122, 121. Victory uh, formation yes. means a victory milkshake. Yes, it does. So, uh, guys, yes, get you a victory does. milkshake. Uh, tonight is a Fitzgerald survives around one of the state playoffs. Probably one of the closest uh, games and scores uh, uh, 
Hank, as we're seeing in, in the double A, uh, yes. Fitzgerald winning 15 to six. And, but a uh, win is a win, isn't it? It is. We knew we were going to have a, uh, a battle on our hands tonight with these guys. A, a good football team from Dodge County comes in tonight. And uh, I think one more snap will do it, Bill. 45 seconds and counting in this ball game. Fitzgerald 15, Dodge County 6, and we will move forward. It's just survive in advance once you get into the playoffs. That's what it is. And Sultan Cooper one last time under center. Our fans all standing here on the home side, uh, congratulating the Purple Hurricanes. And That's going to be good, We want to say uh, good job for the Dodge County Indians. Uh, Hank, they had a good year. Uh, played Fitzgerald two tough ball games. Um, and, and they're both appearances. Fitzgerald able to win over at Dodge County and able to win here tonight by a score of 15 to 6. Identical scores in both contests. And a uh, lot more to go. We'll wrap this thing up here. Got a uh, halftime uh, a post game interview with Coach Tucker Pruitt. We'll have the Pioneer Graphics players of the games coming up. And you stay tuned for more. Thank you for joining us on Radio 96.9. Fitzgerald winners tonight, 15 to 6. And stay tuned for the post-game show. I tell you, my stats probably not very accurate tonight. Uh, I mean, with who well, had, I, I was going to say I couldn't. I couldn't tell. I know who had the football. I mean, I, I really couldn't. It's, it's hard to do.
Well, Hank, uh, man, uh, a, a good football game tonight. We mentioned that in our pregame show. Fitzgerald Dodd County always presents a good ball for entertainment for the fans. Luckily, Fitzgerald was able to win this one again by the, the score, 15-6. to six. Uh, uh, Offensively, Fitzgerald was able to score enough to win the football game, but again, the defense for the Hurricanes really was a big part of this win tonight. Uh, as we're looking out on the field, the Fitzgerald Marching Canes are playing the alma mater to all the players, cheerleaders are involved with that. And uh, as we look out at midfield, we see uh, Hal Wiley has the head coach, Tucker Pruitt, uh, standing by. And Hal, take it away. Thank you, Bill. Uh, coach, uh, you play two, uh, play a team twice in one year. You beat them 15 to six both times. Have you ever seen anything like that? Listen, I was hoping it would look a little better, but we'll take it, you know. Uh... It was a hard-fought game, kind of what we expected. You know, you got to give Dodge County a lot of credit. They got a good football team, scrappy and athletic. Our defense played well again, and uh, offense. I thought we moved the ball at times when we didn't have the penalties, but uh, didn't cash in on that second drive. I was really disappointed in that, and some of that's probably play calling on my part. But uh, our kids fought hard, and we did enough, and we get another week together. I think Dodge County is a little more improved than they were. Uh, they're a better team than they were last time we played. And it's like I said, even when they lose, they don't give up many points. You know, this is their fourth loss, and they've given up 15, 15, 21, and 21 in those losses. And so, a uh, really good defensive football team and uh, some weapons on offense, and we're fortunate enough to score a couple more than they did and, and be able to have another week to stay together. Well, Coach, looks like we're taking this show on the road, going back up to Fannin County again. Uh, it, it, how do you prepare uh, for that long road trip? Well, you know, we went last year, so I guess there's some familiarity there. And, uh, you know, honestly, I'm just glad that we're still playing. Yep. We'll play anybody. And if we got to travel to do it, that'll be fine. Uh, we got another week to go back to the drawing board and get better and uh, make some improvements. And hopefully we can, you know, keep playing. Coach, congratulations on your win tonight. Go, go enjoy it. And then uh, let's get back to work. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Uh, we. Uh, we came away with a win. It wasn't pretty, as he said in his uh, post-game talk to the team. A win is a win, uh, even though it wasn't the, the, the best best way to do it. But uh, we got a W. We're going to Fannin County, it looks like. I was going to say <clears throat> I was gonna say how any way you do it is a good one. That's right. Uh, Fitzgerald wins, and we move on. Uh, heading up to Blue Ridge, Georgia next week. Uh, Fannin County, uh, the long ride up there. But uh, like I say, we did it last year. So we are familiar with it, and uh, I look forward to going up there, Bill. Hank, just looking at some, uh, c comparing some stats, uh, you know the two scores were the same, Fitzgerald 15-6. Uh, that was when we played over at Dodge. The same score here tonight, Fitzgerald 15 and Dodge County 6. And I was just looking at the stat sheets from both ball games to see how close uh, they were uh, in, in the game. Over at Dodge County, Fitzgerald had 281 total yards. Tonight we got 250. Um when when uh, when we were over at Dodge, uh, Dodge County had a had a 226 total yards. They only had 109 on the game over there. But what's interesting about it is the turnovers. Uh, that